They'll be calling you a radical. I just met a, another professor from Weaver State just now. It's important that I do this here. I want to do it. It's really important that I do this here. And this is my plan when I came to do this here, to have history. So I brought some posters with me. And then I'm going to talk about the epic, epic stillhead collapse. The stillhead collapse is in earnest right now. The Bonneville's the big one. I mean, it means everything, the Bonneville. It means everything. And it's going, it's going. Nice timing, huh, Kev? So, they're in epic collapse. They're coming in at less than, they're coming at 6%, 7% daily on the Bonneville. I mean, the Will Lamont came in at 90, and oh no, it's been going, no, it has not been going on for years. It has not been going on for years. That is a freaking lie. Just like, you know, there's lots of lies in the US, lots of lies. I mean, you've accepted these disgusting behaviors, and it's like this. I think a lot of people don't realize when they travel to Europe, you know, the obese American, man and woman, tattooed up, dressing like you're some sexy Italian female, which these people are sexy. These people are beautiful, and it matters. It matters what they wear, what they eat, how they eat it, when they eat it, where they eat it. It matters. So. You, you think it's okay, so you see some obese, tattooed up, wearing a skip. These people, I mean, be ready to be offended. I know what they say, because I can understand enough I tell you. Oh boy, it is a taboo all over Europe. It is a taboo. And then they'll say right to the man, what, you sleep with that? What's the matter? And then the girl will say, you sleep? What, what does it matter with you, you know? So it's important. I mean, you can go into denial about the stillhead all you want. Where'd you sleep last night, Kev? I slept in a dead fucking pine in the sun from Fukushima. Pine. It always shines. So, the Chinook on the Bonneville is the big run, this, the so called fall season. The fall season starts on this one. Well, the first day was okay. <laughs> They're in collapse. They're coming in at 40%, 45%, 40%, just like the fall. I mean, Hello, this is as obvious as the scar on my face. So, and like I said, these taboos in the United States, and they just shake their, head, their heads. You know, people like me, they'll say, so I got four of them. Let's see if I can do this. Gotta hold the camera. Here we go, we can set it up just like this. Nice. Maybe. It's still running. No, that don't work. Here, flip it around, Kev. Here we go. Okay, it works. It's important I do this here. So. Yeah, they're going to be a little worn because I had to stuff them in my backpack, but they're posters. That makes the beauty of them. You'll know where they were. So I'm only going to do four of these. This, by the way, I sold the original of my big poster for $3,400 to pay for this trip. I understand it's uh, somebody involved with the Chicago Museum. They're anonymous, but they're not anonymous. You know what I'm saying. I'm going to do four of these because I've sold 17, so this is going to be number 18 of 330, or excuse me, 311. So these $200 a piece because I need money. Be here for a while. 19, 3, 11. Well, this will be. Of course, in Europe, it's 11, 3, 11. Here, in the U.S. it's 3-11-11. I love them. I went into bone marrow transplant on 11-11-11 talking about that. So, number 21.
some two hundred dollars a piece. There's only four of them. So it's the beauty of YouTube. I mean, at this point, what do we do? We can only record history, right? I think it's going to become the quintessential piece of art in the anti-nuclear movement. It's about the death of leukemia, because that's what cancer is, if the Pacific Ocean doesn't prove it. By the way, I got those, I tied that with, they're shoelaces I got at the bone marrow trans, excuse me, at the hospital that did my open heart surgery. I had open heart surgery 110 days ago. Italian doctor shocked my heart. A Utah doctor opened me up, a young guy, Dr. Connors. The Colado shocked me and did all my work to get my heart a fib. And I told him, I'm going to Italy, and if your surgery works, I'll be able to walk, hike both towers in one day. Both towers in one day. And uh, I did it two days ago in 100 degree Fahrenheit weather. Where'd you sleep last night, Kev? Where'd you sleep? Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Where'd you sleep last night? Where'd you sleep last night? I slept in that dead fucking pine with the sun from Fukushima, Japan. Oh, it fucking always shines. It always shines. Where'd you sleep last night? Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Another artist doing the same thing, I'll bet you. I mean, this is the place. I mean, this is where it has to be. So, I slept in the dead fucking pines with the sun from Fukushima, Japan. Oh, it always fucking shines. So, when you come here, I mean, beware that it's not culture accepted to be fat, drunk, and stupid obese. And, you know, they're going to be mean to you about it. They'll tell you straight up. I was in Vienna with some very sophisticated women. They're like, this girl comes, come here, come here. Why are you dressed like that? You know, and they're talking in English. She says, no, I'm Austrian girl. And then they start talking in German. And, uh, come here, you come to my house, I fix you. You get that fat off your body. You get it off your body. And it's, it's a culture thing because it's about health. It's about a lot of things. So, don't you lie to me. So the Pacific salmon collapse is in earnest. It's epic. It's epic. It's epic. It's epic. It's epic. And one day you'll look back in history and see how historical my work's been. And as I walk the coast, of oh, it's pretty bad. So I got to come third to Italy to meet people from San Diego County that know about Fukushima. I met a woman from Northern California today, all the way up north, Ferndale area, you know, above Humboldt County. And she was talking about the dead tide pools. She said, you think it's all Fukushima? And then I told her who I was and what. She said, oh my God. You know, so it's pretty bad. We got to go halfway around the world and have a discussion in our own community because there is no community. Stand tuned, don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Where'd you sleep last night, babe? Don't you lie to me. Don't you remember, Kevin? Don't you remember? Lord, I remember. Lord, I remember where I'm from. I slept in the bone marrow trying to my center next to you. Next to you. I'm dead. I'm in heaven. Heartbreak. This is what's got to happen to the nuclear industry. This is what we got to do. You want to fight? Let's fucking fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. say this to you origamis, hold it up and just pretend. Fukushima denial is not a fucking river. 
it's a dying dead Pacific Ocean. If you don't believe me, look at the fucking tag here. Look at the fucking, that's not the real David. I saw the real David yesterday. So, don't you lie to me, don't you lie to me. Where'd you sleep last night? Just like a dead fucking time. The sun for Fukushima, Japan. Oh, holy shit. Don't you lie to me. Went off to Afghanistan, and you might just put a towel down. Went off to Iraq to get the towel down. Excuse me, went off to get the big old sack of the chain in Iraq. Went off to Afghanistan to put the towel down. What a fucking joke. What a fucking joke. How nice is that? None of the barrel ISIS. Typhoons are all dead, fools. All of them are dead. All of them are dead. You're being hammered by Fukushima Bay and you're in denial. Santa Claus is the. I mean, that's it. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over.